Alright guys, what's good? Haven't uploaded it in a hot minute. Just wanted to get a quick little POV video for you guys of the car driving around. Believe it or not, I do have a stabilizer on the way as well as a new gizmo. So these videos will get a lot better quality in the near future. Let's show you guys what we're working with. Let's fucking get it, boy. So, probably one of my favorite cars I've ever owned has got to be the RS3. Just because of the cra craziness you can get with these things for the power and for the bank of your buck. These things are absolute animals. So, for reference, all I have done to this car is an intake, a tune, and mid pipes. I don't have a down pipe, but to me, the sound you get from this, it's, it's perfect. I don't, I don't even need a down pipe. Like, I mean, as much as I want a down pipe, I really don't want to void the warranty and have it be crazy loud at the moment. Of course, down in the future, that is something I'm gonna want to do. But right now, I am 100% satisfied on how this car performs, how this car sounds, and how it car acts. Um, I am lowered on h and lowering springs, nothing crazy. Oh my God, it's just pure joy. Like, every time I drive this car, I'm not even gonna lie, I literally cannot get a smile off my face. I know it's fucking very cliche to say that, but it's literally just so much fun so much power for such a little car and just sounds like a mini fucking huracan coming down the street people look at like me like i'm fucking psychotic in the real world i am psychotic but this thing is just pure fucking joy man good god just handles so good everything about it is just perfect literally could not get a better fucking car for the price bracket. I mean, I picked mine up for 47 with 9,000 miles, 2018. Uh, I do believe they're a little bit higher in the market value as of right now. But again, that's still very, very well priced. I mean, you're getting a, what, a 400 horsepower car for 50,000. You do a tune, you're almost at 500. And you have good gas mileage. I mean, if you drive it consecutively or conservatively, I would say, um, you can get that good gas mileage. You have all the options features. You got heated seats down here. I love the climate control. I love how everything's laid out over here. Very nice, very easy to use, very user friendly. Love the digital dash, probably the best feature of the car. You can slide through, get that navy up if you guys like. Sorry, I'm doing this while I'm driving. And someone, please, please prove me wrong. I mean, I do have an open intake and I do see it's pretty much a hot air intake, but just the sound this thing makes is fucking crazy. Like, oh my God, it's just, it's choo -choo -choo. that definitely explains my plate if you guys don't know what it means, uh, TST RS, because the turbo goes <laughs> uh, All right, get a little underpass right here. Downshift, downshift. never ever will get old if you're thinking about buying an rs3 and you have the funds where you can do it or finance it 100 percent do it so worth it so so worth it all right last little sound clip i'm not going to talk during this just so you guys can get the full sound Again, probably the best car for its money. Show you 
you guys the outside. Uh, it's on Zito Flow Form wheels. These cars come staggered. Uh, I went with a squared setup just because I like it better. It's less torque steer. Um, a, it is wrapped in a KPMF uh, Porsche chalk gray. I call it that, but it's just gloss gray or whatever, or chalk white. I don't know, but it looks pretty good. Car is originally Mathos black. I'll show you guys under the engine, and then we'll call it a day. All right, let's see. Under here, look at that sight. I don't know if I should keep that blue or not, just because I have to wrap that one too. Anyway, CTS turbo intake. Um, nothing crazy. Again, I don't like the way this is set up. Very, very poorly. Uh, if anything, I'd probably just take the box off. But again, it's still a hot air intake. If I did that, I'd probably want to get a vented hood. With that being said, guys, if you guys would like any more videos, any specific videos, even wrap tutorials, um, when I rewrap my car, I'll do a wrap video on how to wrap this car. Pretty easy, how to take it apart and everything. Um, but with that being said, you guys stay cool, and I'll talk to you later.